Hi, Dr. Pelto here. Uh, I have a, a patient with an ingrown toenail, and you can see the reason for this ingrown toenail isn't so much the nail, but it's the toe. Do you see how the toe is straight here, and it takes kind of a, 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 a right hook, uh, and, and that's where it's rubbing against the toe. Now, uh, this is he's had a couple of injections already, and I kind of did a little example right down here on the paper. You can see there's four little vessels going, uh, that nerves that feed the toe. And so sometimes we miss one of those when we're doing the injection. We usually go to the top down. And so, and also if there's a little pus in here, sometimes uh, that's why the anesthetic doesn't take as well. So we'll do the procedure here. And uh, if you have any discomfort, we'll be quick as possible here. Are you doing okay? Mm -hmm. okay? And you can see there's a little cut already missing out in the toenail here. And I can see that just because he's tried some home surgery. That didn't that didn't work too well, and they're both laughing in the background here. Okay, so now you want to go underneath the skin there. You don't want to injure the skin, and uh, you're free. Are you doing okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. All good. Good. So, and you go down here, underneath the skin, twist, and you pull. And that gives a big portion of the nail out right like that. And now he has already been on an antibiotic. Um, normally we wouldn't put someone on antibiotic, but we'll see him somewhere else and he'll complete that antibiotic because he started it. And we have to get all this stuff out of here. This is all the stuff that it bleeds a little bit. This stuff needs to kind of get out. It's all this callous tissue in the edge. So a lot of times you can just also just remove it like this. All that tissue. And all this is irritated and swollen because it's been ingrown for a little bit of time here. Okay, so everything looks nice and clean. I also like to check one last time to make sure everything is out. There's no other nail in there. And so you have to stay till the end here of the video so I can show you. I'm having a hard time since I'm doing a few of these here, distinguishing. So I, I try to distinguish it now in the dressing here because uh, I because I give my patients the, the link. And so who's is who's because I do so many. So I, I get a kind of a distinguishing factor of the patient. And so this patient, I think he might go into film or something similar. So no one else is going to know that except him. And uh, But the fun part is you're going to see this. This actually took me more time to learn than, than medical school. Uh, this, this port, not the bandage, but what I'm going to do next is uh, I'm going to put the bandage on here and uh, this part. So we have here his eyes, little smiley face, <laughs> and it's got this wavy hair. <laughs> okay, kind of goes down to the side. More hair than I have. Wavy hair, little cheek. <laughs> because he's going to go into television, I'm going to try to add uh, a little filming thing here. So there's a little film. It looks kind of like a. It's not. That's not a gun, but it's a. It, it's, it's something for filming. And here's the little reel of the film. And so the, and then there's the neck. It's gonna. Okay, good. So that's my little character. That's a little film. That's to distinguish who's who's, and that's the end of the ingrown toenail. Awesome. <laughs>